Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wotton Bassett in the UK. Many of us, including those that don't specifically collect coins, know that the Kew Gardens 50p is one of the rarest coins that you can find in your change. It commands a fairly hefty price as well. But did you know there are plenty of other coins that are rarer than the Kew Gardens 50p and ones you should be looking out for? In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of those coins. We start off with another 50p coin. This was designed by Mary Milner Dickens. It depicts a conference table with the geographic locations of the capital cities of the participating countries of the Council of Ministers. This coin was minted in 1992 and 1993 to mark the UK's presidency of the organisation. They were put into circulation with a mintage, the amount of them that was made, totaling just 109,000. Given that the mintage of the Kew Gardens 50p was 210,000, that's almost half the amount. You won't readily find this coin in your change anymore though, because in 1997 the 50p coin was resized and shrunk, with the older 50ps then being recalled. Something you'll find in your change, if you are lucky, is one of the 26 A to Z 10p coins. With one design for each letter of the alphabet, each depicting something quintessentially British, this is a fantastic series of coins to collect. They were first minted in 2018, with only 220,000 of each having been produced. Now that figure is just a smidge above the Kew Gardens 50p, but they were also struck in 2019, with far reduced numbers being minted that year. They still have the same images on the reverse or tail side of the coin, but the letters A through P, S through V and X saw only 84,000 minted. The letter Q only had 83,000 struck, the letter R totaled just 64,000, but the letters W, Y and Z are the rarest, with only 63,000 of each being circulated. If you combine the mintage figure of course across the whole series, you may be more likely to find one of the series, but the chances of finding a 2019 C for instance is much reduced with a significantly lower mintage than a Kew Gardens 50p. If we cast our net a bit further and look to the Isle of Man, we have the Tosha Cat £2 coin. The coin was minted in 2011 to celebrate the 4th Commonwealth Youth Games, which was held on the Isle of Man for the first time. It saw 811 athletes from 64 Commonwealth nations competing, and the cat featured on the design of the coin was the mascot of the games. Now the actual mintage figure of this coin isn't known, but given that the Isle of Man is a small place with much less demand for coins than the wider UK, fewer coins are struck each year. The coin has become hugely sought after and popular and it commands a rather hefty price tag if you're lucky enough to come across one of these amazing coins. We will stay on the Isle of Man for one more coin. This is a 2008 James and the Snowman Christmas 50p. The Isle of Man have long been minting special Christmas 50p's and they are a really popular set of coins to collect with some becoming extraordinarily valuable and this coin is one of the more expensive ones. The coin was also minted with colour on the design and the combined mintage of the colour and non-colour version is only 30,000. Remember I said that the Isle of Man doesn't need all that many coins. The coin was actually a reissue of the design, which was minted in 2003 as well. That coin too has a low mintage, commanding a large price, but just not quite as much as this coin has. There are also intriguing errors too. For instance, this set of coins which was minted in 1983. It might seem like a usual, brilliant uncirculated coin set, but you have to look at one coin in particular. When the UK went decimal, all the coins were titled New Pence to the top of the design, except for the penny, which said New Penny. Of course, this was to differentiate the decimal coins from the pre-decimal coins. From 1982 though, each denomination is unique, so it read as one penny, two pence, five pence, and so on. By 1983, all the coins therefore should read as their individual denominations. But have a look at the two pence coin in this set. It says new pence. How did this happen? This is an example of a mule error. 
What that means is that when a coin is struck, it is done by using two dies with the design on them. If the wrong die is used for half of the coin, this is a mule error. Interestingly, this is what has also caused the undated 20p coin from 2008 and the Lord Kitchener mule two pound coin as well. If we get a little bit broader, then how about most proof coins then? Whether a silver proof two pound, five pound or 50 pence, these are created by the Royal Mint for collectors to purchase and there are preset limits, a maximum that will be minted. These are often in the tens of thousands, meaning much fewer of them are minted in comparison to the circulated Q Gardens 50p. Similar to proof coins are NIFC coins, coins which are not intended for circulation. For instance, since 2016, there have been no new commemorative two pound coins minted and put into our change. There has though been years of new commemorative two pound coins minted for collectors to purchase though. These coins are NIFC ones. And if you find one in your change, it means that someone has bought or been gifted a set of coins, broken it out of the collector's pack and spent it, which makes the chances of finding one very rare indeed. There are also NIFC variants of other coins, like in 2015 when the Queen's portrait was changed in the annual coin sets, the Queen's fourth portrait was still used rather than the fifth portrait which was put into circulation. Or the 2007 abolition of the slave trade two pound coin which has a subtle design change in the collector's version of the coin in comparison to the one which was put into circulation. We have also seen some very impressive coins at the Britannia Coin Company. This coin in particular was unbelievable to see in the flesh. It is a five kilogram gold proof coin, part of Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee coin range. It has a face value of 5,000 pounds, which is massively under the value of the gold which comprises it, but every coin must have a face value, otherwise it's not a coin. It's rather larger than a 50p though, which you will find in your change, and I don't think anyone's going to be spending one of these. In fact, only two of these impressive coins were made. The Olympic 50p coins are really popular 50ps to collect, but those that went into circulation all have a mintage figure quite in excess of the Kew Gardens 50p. But there are two very special exceptions to this rule. We start with this coin. It is the Olympic Athletics 50p. Each design was selected from an open public competition and this one was chosen having been designed by viewers of Blue Peter. You can find this design in your change, but if you do, make sure you turn it over because this particular coin was not minted in 2011, as with the rest of the circulating coins. There were originally 100,000 of these coins struck in and dated to the obverse 2009. They didn't actually sell very well, so most of them were destroyed, leaving almost 20,000 having been sold. Even rarer than this coin is the Olympic Aquatics 50p, but the design is slightly different from the one that went into circulation. To tell the difference, you have to look at the lines on the face of the swimmer. In the original design, the lines continue over the face of the swimmer, but this was changed last minute to improve the look of the coin. However, some had already been struck and carded and were bought by collectors. There aren't many of these though, rumored to number in the hundreds. There are also many other well-known rare old coins, whether it's the 1933 penny or a coin minted before the abdication of King Edward VIII with his portrait on it, or the timeless and beautiful Gothic crown. Over the centuries that we have been minting coins, there are plenty of historic pieces of numismatic history that are far rarer and more valuable than a Kew Gardens 50p. In fact, elsewhere in the world, many countries have either reduced the amount of coins being produced, perhaps in favor of cashless transactions, or simply because they are smaller countries, thereby requiring less coins than the UK. All you have to do is look at the mintage figure of some circulated coins in the USA to realize that the amount of coins produced in the UK for our change is tiny in comparison. So if small countries like the Vatican City, which yes, used to have its own system of currency and still produce unique coins to this day, or the Seychelles, which won't need millions of coins a year to be produced to meet local needs.
So there we go, a whole load of coins which are actually rarer than a Kew Gardens 50p. I'd love to know in the comments what your rarest coin in your collection is, and if you have a Kew Gardens 50p, where did you come across it? Be sure to check out the links in the description of this video over to our website for some of the coins that we featured in the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're also on Twitter and TikTok. TikTok, we have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.